everyone, Nicole here from Cellbotics. So how much do cell phone repair shops earn? If you have searched this topic on Google or some other search engine, you've probably pulled up information that has nothing to do with the question that you've asked. And I am going to end that today. So first off, I want to say legally, I am not an accountant, I am not your CPA. Uh, this is not a guarantee. Um, this industry does come with its fair share of work involved to actually reach these types of numbers. Um, and again, this is not a guarantee. You could enter this industry and not make a dollar, right? <laughs> Just like any business, this is just um, information from from us working with shops and uh, big corporations and franchises in the industry. Things that we have dealt with and we know that these numbers are real. So be open-minded about what I'm about to cover. I'm going to try to break it down into ways that make sense for you. Okay, so first off, if you have searched how much money do cell phone shops earn? Probably pulled up things like Glassdoor. Let's say uh, a cell phone technician earns $30,000 on average a year salary, right? What the heck? We didn't even ask that question. We asked how much do the shops earn? So make sure you read this stuff because a lot of times it's just inaccurate, you know? Um, you may pull up um, some blogs that uh, don't actually tell you any numbers. You are probably not watching this video because you want to go work for a shop. I mean, maybe, maybe you do, but the majority of you are looking to open a business and want to make some serious money, right? You're at the right video and you're in the right industry. When you search that question, be careful to read what you're actually looking at and don't just take in the keywords and be like, oh wow, 30,000 a year, ugh. You know? No, because that's not true, okay? So let's be honest here. Some shops can do zero, especially if you're in a small town or you don't open up properly or you don't know what you're doing, you don't have support, right? You could get into the industry with some YouTube videos and completely bomb and think the industry is crap and it's really not, okay? Um, the proper way to go about things is investing in yourself, taking a course like Cellbotics, okay? I'm a little biased, <laughs> but we are the best. Um, and come take our course and work with us and we will make sure that you know everything that you need to know to be successful and then you have to implement Okay. Once you implement, sky is the limit. Okay. There are shops that we work with. Now, perception of a lot of money is perception based. So I'm actually going to go into dollar values. So then if you're someone that's like, man, I just, if I made $5,000 a month, I'd feel like a millionaire. Or you may be someone that's like 5,000. I already make that. I, you know, I want a hundred thousand a month. Right? So a normal shop, just like a normal mom and pop shop, it's averaging about five to 15 repairs a day, okay? So if you say mom and pop shop, okay, I'm gonna put mom and pop. Um, so they say, uh, we'll say we'll say 10 repairs because it's like the middle between five and 15, uh, times an average of $80 profit. Now, some people will say $100 profit is an average, 120 is an average profit. I like to be on the lower side and a lot of people don't like that I do that. But I'm sorry, I'd rather go low and then you'd be surprised when it's higher than me try to oversell you in this video and come off as a salesperson because I'm not trying to convince you, I'm just trying to give you some facts, okay? So if you say 10 times 80, that's $800, okay? $800 a day. Now where am I getting the 80 from? Does that mean parts come out of that? No. So 80 is the labor fee that you, an average labor fee that you can charge. Now some repairs, are gonna be less than that. Maybe you're making $30. Maybe somebody comes in with an iPhone 5. You know, you're made the parts $5 and the, the, the labor you're charging 35 and the repairs 40, right? Something like that. That's very rare though. Um, so I'm saying an average of 80 profit, okay? So the part has already come off. So this profit is like a total sum after you total all month would be where you pay yourself, your rent, your overhead, and any employees that you have, okay? And maybe reinvest in your company, right? Maybe buying accessories and things like that. You should be when you sell those items, you're rebuying them, right? But it, say you don't have those items yet, so you need to save some money and reinvest in your company. It's very important in the beginning, especially, that most of your money goes to just building other services and accessories and all these different things that you can have in your store to kind of like snowball it um, so the income keeps growing. And then you get to where you can like take a consistent pay for yourself, okay? Um, as you see, that's $800 a day, right? Okay, so $800 a day, and we'll say, most shops, like we talk about in class, should be open seven days a week for the first month or two so then you can figure out what your busy hours are. I say 
seven days a week. I know you heard me right. Uh, nine to nine. I know. I know that was a rough one, right? Who's going to be there? You, you're going to be there. This is your baby now. This is this right now. If you've got a family, family's going to take a second step for a moment, let you grow this business because this is the only way that you're going to turn this into a profitable machine that will take care of your family and give you that step up in life or or, you know, whatever it is that you want, okay? So you're going to be there seven days a week, nine to nine. Quickly, you're gonna figure out your slow hours. When I had my retail spice in a very small town, which crashed and burned, it was my failure. You know, you gotta have failures in life. I've had a lot of successes, but it was one of my very big failures. Um, my slow time was during the day when people were working. So I would go in early in the morning and I would go in from like, four to 9 p.m. Because during the day, nobody was coming in. It was like after work and weekends, right? Um, and then of course I had staff and stuff like that. So it was different, but in the beginning. So I would do nine to nine, seven days a week till you figure out your hours, okay? So, but I'm not gonna do 800 times seven. I'm not gonna anticipate that these company is working seven days a week. I'm going to anticipate that they are doing six days a week, okay? So when we wrote an ebook, how to make $10,000 a month with repair, um, some people, they just didn't believe it. They were like, $10,000 a month in repair. Um, yes. Now, I'm going to say some much bigger numbers here. We have worked with shops, corporations, businesses, uh, doing anywhere from, you know, 30 to, 30 to 80 repairs a day, depending on the city, number of uh, employees that they have, how big their location is. Um, a lot of them have a lot of accessories and other things that they can offer, activations, which you can do. I know that sounds impossible, but I promise you it's not. Now, is it hard to get there? Well, I don't like to label anything as hard. Um, it's just how much effort are you going to put in and what city are you going to locate into? Where's your location? What's your marketing? What's your advertising? What's your website look like? What's your ad budget? I mean, to get to something like this, yeah, there's a lot that you have to do, but can it be done? Yes. Does it mean that you will get it by just coming to class and then fiddling your fingers behind your front desk and waiting for people to walk in? Absolutely not. There is a lot that you need to do to get there, okay? There's brand recognition, which we do talk about in class. There's advertising, marketing budgets, websites. I mean, all sorts of things that you need to have running. Even with the 10 a day, I mean, you're gonna have to build that up. I mean, yeah, walk by traffic if you have a good anchor store in your shopping center that you're gonna set up in of course is gonna help, but that's not the only way to get business, right? Um, and we talk about that in class also. Uh, so yeah, you can make good income. It depends on what you think good is, but you are going to have to invest a little bit. You are going to have to implement things. You are gonna to have to work hard to, to uh, make it and grow it. And it's not going to happen overnight. So I don't want that to, I don't want this to sound like this is easy. You just take this course and bam, you're making $96,000 a month. That just doesn't happen. Um, you will sell devices, do activations, sell accessories, do refurbing. I mean, there are so many things that you're going to do inside of your shop that are gonna open you up to income. And then your marketing, your salespeople, your, um, just when people come in, how do you handle customers? And these are all things that we talk about in class, okay? So um, let's talk about mobile, okay? So I, we have students that have mobile trucks, okay? I have uh, students, I just recently spoke to one, he's averaging, um, well, the company, they have a couple trucks, averaging about 12 repairs a day per truck, okay? So that's just them, they just added on the trucks. Okay, I have worked with other uh, students of ours that have just had trucks and they're doing 20 to 40 repairs a day. Okay, depending on if people are meeting them places or if they're going to people. If you're going to people, then you're not going to be, because you have the time. You think each repair is 30 to 45 minutes and you get drive time and all of that. So if you say, well, I can, I'm going to drive to people, right? Because this is what these trucks are doing. So you say 12, you know, 12 times. Now they're doing, um, a, a trip fee. So we're going to say a $20 trip fee. So it's going to be a hundred now average. So if you say 12 times a hundred, that's $1,200, uh, $1,200 a day average per truck. Okay. Uh, then you got to take off gas and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this really helped. And I hope this was better than some of the random information that is out there on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any ideas for content, please, please, please leave it below. Would you like and subscribe, right? Like and subscribe. 
I would like to get some more subscribers, okay? Uh, and go check out our website, sellbotics.com. You can schedule a free chat with us there. If you chat below, I promise I will respond. And uh, everybody stay safe out there.